so we can discuss uh, another question uh, which is again uh, to find the dtft of a signal uh, x of n is equal to minus a raised to n u of minus n minus 1 so we need to find the discrete time for your transform of the signal again uh, the general formula for calculating uh, discrete time for a transform is same x of e raised to j omega is equal to uh, sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e raised to minus j omega n in place of x of n it is given as uh, minus a raised to n u of minus n minus 1 so now we can uh, substitute uh, x of n here so you can write x of uh, e raised to j omega is equal to sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity minus a raised to n u of minus n minus 1 into the remaining term which is e raised to minus j omega n now uh, you can see that uh, there is a non signal uh, which is a step a modified version of a step u of minus n minus 1 so now we need to write the definition for u of minus n minus 1 so we can see how we can write uh, the definition so the signal u of minus n minus 1 can be written as 1 for the limit minus n minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 because uh, for the general signal uh, u of n is equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 in place of n here it is given minus n minus 1 so we will write minus n minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 and similar way uh, we can modify this minus n greater than or equal to 1 and we required in terms of n so I can multiply with minus so both side so it becomes minus n becomes n so the symbol will reverse so n less than or equal to minus 1 similarly uh, the reverse case also you can write otherwise it's 0 means minus n minus 1 less than 0 or you can write minus n less than 1 or in terms of n you can write if n is greater than minus 1 signal value is equal to 0 so this is the definition for uh, u of minus n minus 1 so now we can see uh, what is this signal okay so we can see the waveform so in this case uh, the signal x is from minus 1 onwards because it is uh, given n less than or equal to minus 1 so at n is equal to 0 the function value is 0 it's very important u of minus n minus 1 starts from minus 1 then minus 2 minus 3 up to minus infinity and the value becomes 0 for n is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 etc that is given uh, if n is greater than minus 1 if n is greater than minus 1 means from 0 onwards the function magnitude is 0 so we got the signal so your uh, summation becomes n is equal to minus infinity to infinity will change now we can write it's from n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 not up to 0 it's only up to minus 1 minus a raised to n and u of minus n minus 1 is equal to 1 so and remaining thing is a raised to minus j omega n we can uh, rearrange the equation you can take the minus common so remaining uh, sigma n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 a raised to n into e raised to minus j omega n and here you can see that uh, this uh, limits is from minus infinity to minus 1 
and uh, you don't have any formula to calculate uh, if it is from minus infinity to minus one so we need to change in term positive terms so i can change this n and this terms so i can rearrange this becomes positive and here it becomes negative so we can write uh, minus sigma n is equal to I can write it from infinity to 1 I'll make these two limits positive means I need to change this n becomes minus n and e raised to minus j omega n becomes plus j omega n and similarly uh, I can change the order in the case of summation there is no problem uh, we can uh, change this uh, infinity to 1 to 1 to infinity but in the case of integration we cannot change like this but in the case of summation I can change so I can rewrite minus into sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a raised to minus 1 e raised to j omega the whole raised to n now uh, I can substitute the formula so there's a formula uh, if n is equal to 1 to infinity a raised to n you can write a into or a raised to 1 into 1 by 1 minus c provided modulus of a is less than 1 you can assume that this modulus of a is less than 1 so here I can write uh, minus uh, in place of a it is given as a raised to minus 1 e g omega so the first time we can write a raised to minus 1 e raised to j omega into 1 by 1 minus e raised to sorry a raised to minus 1 e raised to j omega now I can rearrange this equation I can take this uh, term a raised to minus 1 e raised to j omega as a common so if you take this term as a common and these two term will be cancelled and remaining I can rearrange the equation and we'll get minus a raised to minus 1 e raised to j omega divided by you can take this term also common so a raised to minus 1 e raised to j omega into 1 by again 1 by a raised to minus 1 e raised to j omega minus 1 so from this uh, you can do some more simplification I can cancel uh, these two terms and I can uh, multiply this minus 1 so your equation becomes 1 by 1 minus a e raised to minus j omega so this is your final answer and we can uh, conclude this question if the signal is a, a raised to n in the u of minus n minus 1 and there is a minus also so okay and if the signal is like this means which exists only at the negative terminal negative positional of the n value means the signal is anti causal if the signal is anti causal you will get 1 by 1 minus a e raised to minus g omega now we can uh, check uh, with another question uh, here uh, you can see that the signal is a raised to n into u of n when the signal is x of n is equal to a raised to n u of n the final result is 1 by 1 minus a e raised to g omega now the question is different 
minus a raised to n u of minus n minus 1. For the both question, you are getting the same answer 1 by 1 minus a a raised to minus g omega. So we need to remember uh, these two results. So I'll conclude. Uh, if you see this uh, result, so this is the uh, Fourier transform of a raised to n into u of n which is given by 1 by 1 minus a e raised to minus g omega. This is another signal minus into a raised to n u of minus n minus 1. Again the result will be c. In both cases the result is c. So we are calculating the df dft. So this signal I can say is a causal signal and this is anti causal signal. So that is the difference means this signal only for uh, positive values of n and this signal exists only for negative values of n. So if the signal is causal you will get uh, the same a raised to n into u of n 1 by 1 minus a raised to minus g omega and this is for positive signal and this is anti causal signal means which exists only for when n is equal to negative. So 1 by 1 minus a e raised to minus g omega.